Okay. Good morning, everybody. Let me welcome you to the 80th, yes, 80, 80th meeting of the National Advisory Council for Human Genome Research. Uh, it's good to see all of you. Uh, it's uh, good to be open for business here in the federal government. Um, and uh, uh, we have a very busy open session agenda and lots to accomplish. So I'm going to turn this over to Rudy Pizzotti and he'll guide us through this. Okay, thank you, Eric. Uh, good morning, everyone. Let me remind you that the uh, open session of the council meeting is uh, being webcast and uh, video archived, so you can relive this day over and over for better or for worse. Uh, let's start with uh, introductions. We have a couple of uh, new staff to introduce to the council. When I call your name, would you please uh, stand up so the council can see you? Sylvia Garvey. Thank you, Sylvia. Sylvia is a new program specialist who will be working on a variety of projects in the Division of Genomic Medicine. Sylvia has a master's degree in global health practice and an undergraduate degree in health sciences. Uh, she's also certified in public health. Thank you, Sylvia. Uh, Alexander Katz. Thank you, Alex. Alex is a medical genetics clinical fellow in the NHGRI uh, in intramural research program. Uh, he's also spending a, a significant amount of time working with the extramural staff on some of the genomic medicine consortium activities. Alex has a master's degree in human genetics from the University of Michigan and an MD degree from Thomas Jefferson University Medical College. Alex is also board certified in internal medicine. Thank you, Alex. Uh, I'd like to uh, welcome some of our uh, council uh, liaisons. Uh, Mike Watson here from the American College of Medical Genetics and Genomics, and Derek Scholes from the American Society of Human Genetics. Thank you for taking the time to be with us in person today. And we have one visitor, uh, Rachel Levinson from Arizona State University. Thank you for making the trip, Rachel. Uh, I seek your approval for the minute council minutes from the February 2017 meeting. Uh, are there any edits or recommended changes to the minutes? Riveting reading, I know, but okay. Can I have a moment, a motion to accept the minutes, and a second? All in favor? Any opposed? Any abstentions? Thank you very much. Uh, please note the future meeting dates for the council for the next two years. They're on the open session agenda. If you notice any schedule conflicts, for those of you that are booking your life two years in advance. Uh, if you see any schedule conflicts, please notify me, and more importantly, Comfort Brown. Uh, and with that, I'll turn it back over to Eric for the director's report. 